Guys, hello and welcome back. Now, you've clearly clicked the title, guys, because you want to know how to unlock Boros in One Punch Man Road to. Sorry, not Road to Hero. <laughs> One Punch Man, the strongest. Now, you can see right in front of me here, we've got this Launch Benefit Limited Voucher Exchange. Now, you do get a few of these every day, not a huge amount, but at least you're going to be able to pull. Um, a few of them so you're gonna get be able to get five of them for free which is quite nice so here he is here Boros so how do you unlock him what's he gonna be like I'm gonna answer those questions for you so I think he looks like a in absolutely incredible character his art style his look it all looks really really cool so it's very very simple and how to unlock him that I can become him. So it's um yeah. It is it's, it's quite exciting. So what we've got here is this limited time summoning. So it's a single target attacker, longest burst. So single so I guess we could say single attacker would be like um uh, who, who attacks singly? Deep Sea King. Kind of the same system as Deep Sea King where all he does is punish one enemy. So what it says here is the limited time card pool, so obviously the limited time recruitment, um, includes the following SR characters. SSR characters. Boros. Subtraining King, which is the guy with the forearms. I'm not sure who that guy is. Tank Top Master. Vaccine Man. Child Emperor. Speeder Sonic. Carnage Kabuto and Deep Sea King. So I'm pretty sure that's nearly all of the SSRs. They don't have um, a Terrible Tornado in there, unfortunately, or Hellish Blizzard. Um, the probability of receiving Boros. So the probability of receiving Boros the first two times in the special card pool is four times that of other SSR cards. So what it's saying is that they're trying to assist you in unlocking him. So you have to remember that it says down here that SSR probability is still 1.3%. But in that 1.3%, when you pull an SSR, it's got two times to actually be Boros. So is that good? Probably not, because the drop rates in this game are pretty awful. But it's um it's not a bad thing for people who want to unlock Boros. Now I'm not buying any tickets yet. I'm not doing anything too mental yet until I see what the ticket system looks like. I'm going to wait for it to come out. Um, so start times the 5th of July because you can still buy the tickets. And then, then if it's good, I'm going to use all 11,000 of my diamonds on those tickets. Because one of the most important things in this game to buy, to use, to do anything is obviously character shards. Now... It's very difficult to get drops for good characters because you get very, very stuck with um, all of the free drops and recruitments that you get. So what I like is, as you're going to be doing times 10 summons here, these are going to count towards that other challenge that we're also working on. And um, it will allow us to get the subterranean king. So you can see here you can buy the tickets. Now, that doesn't seem like a huge amount for two tickets. So I should be able to do about 40 summonings. And I've got one for free. Like I said, you get some for free. So I'm intrigued to kind of see where we're going to get to with these, if they're actually going to be worth it. Um, so I'm going to wait until tomorrow and then I'm going to pick that up and do it. But I just wanted to go over this with you guys because there's, there's going to be a higher probability of getting him. He looks kind of like an awesome character. It's just going to be bragging rights. If you unlock him, because the only way to get him is in this summon. I guess they might release him afterwards. There's no word on that. I I can't give you that information. But um, it's also quite good because there's more. Of, you know, you could get some more shards for Speed of Sonic, some more shards for Deep Sea King, some more shards for Subterranean King. So it's gonna help you leveling up in every single way, even if you don't actually get Vaccine Man would be a shame but even if you didn't get him it would not be the end of the world guys 
because obviously you're still going to hopefully get some good drops for you know sr characters ssr characters and be able to kind of keep this entire spree going so it is it is quite interesting it is quite exciting to see where we're going to come and it's the first kind of event that they've launched not the world's greatest event but they are also releasing a brand new mode so there there's a lot of like decent things happening here guys um and they are doing quite well because the new guild mode looks really cool um I, I will talk about that a bit more whilst i know more of it because it's just speculating at the moment but at the moment um it's it's all going well and i probably will invest in a few of these special tickets i'm curious guys if you drop a comment down below and let me know are you going to be investing in these tickets to see if you can unlock boros because I am quite I am quite excited for it. I am quite excited for it. Skip. Lovely. Right, so. Oh, the club challenge is here, the big guy. So this is what I told you all about yesterday. And I'll tell you what, guys, the reward I got from this yesterday, after telling you all about it, I got a purple um, equipment. So all in all, pretty decent. Smack. New record for myself as well. Where's that put me? I'll take 13. That's not bad. So yeah. I'm very excited about um, Boros coming out, guys. And being another chest. Yes. Can I get free chests? Oh, okay. It wasn't a rare one, unfortunately. Um, let's jump in. So I like to make sure I just use all of my most powerful characters' specials. So that, like, bang, 22,000 one hit. Poison. Then Metal Grilla, if he... He does so much damage now as well. Is it going to be a record? It's got to be a record. Oh, it wasn't. So I can kill, I can always take one guy out now, which is um, is always quite nice. There we go. See, I, I got, got some relatively decent stuff. Um, not anything huge. I'm going to wait because I don't want to attack these guys if we're not going to finish them off. Because I'm not going to finish them off myself, so I don't want to waste an attack there. Let's see where we are. Nice. Smashed it for here. Yeah, this guild's doing really well at the moment. I'm, I'm quite a mini fan of both in this guild and we're both flying for it. So yeah, I mean, at the moment I'm quite happy with all of that. I always remember, like I said, guys, make sure you buy those every single day. Sorry, every single week. Don't really need anything in there. Don't really need anything in there either. Yes, I can get a blue gangster one. I'm going to grab that as well. That's not bad. That's not awful. Um, I've already maxed out everything in there. I like to buy my one in there as well. So you see, you can you can get by thirty six in there as well. So there there are quite a, a decent amount of things to get. Mosquito girl supplement pack. Not awful. Um, they have one for supersonic. Oh, they do. Unfortunately, that would have been quite nice if they had one for supersonic in there. Uh, these these are a little bit questionable. Um, they've done like. RNG pack, so you can buy that for 99p and then you get like a random drop in here. Don't really know what I think of that. Um, it's not awful because they do limit it to one per person, so you can't go mental. But I, I, I don't know what I think of that. So for free dollars, you're getting free limited vouchers. So obviously, guys, they will inevitably going to add a way that you could just buy them as well um so you know not awful if you are someone who likes to spend money this would definitely be a good time to do it 
because you're going to be getting these new packs. But I, I don't want to speed the game up too much. That's always what I find is if you spend money on games like this, is that you end up going too far through them too quickly, which is never really a good thing. Oh, I'm going to shuffle these now. Get some new ones in. Open six. Lovely. And open six. I don't know why I've got so many of those. Yes. Okay, that's fine though. And then you want to make sure you get your free ones every day, but I don't know why I had so many of those. Great. So I've done my days, done my arena. I don't think I've done my challenges today. Let me sweep this bad boy. So I've got um I've been a little bit lazy on this on this game mode here. But I haven't actually really bothered in doing any of it. So that was actually a really good damage rate, plus 20. Cool. So I'm, I'm going to try this later on today and see if I can push a little bit further through it. Now my team's obviously leveled up a lot better and we've got a lot of different things happening. But guys, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Um, I Like I said, guys, I want you to comment down below and let me know um, if you're going to get the Boros tickets, I probably will buy a lot of them and I'll, I will do a video recruiting them with you guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've learned something from it. Destroy that like and subscribe button guys and I'll see you all in the next one.